get back into it. Hello? Okay. Resume. Alright, we're gonna go down the stairs this time. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it be? That's crazy. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps crazy talk. simply missed a memo. Probably. Nope. When yep. Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Sure did. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Fire hose. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in I don't think we're worried about economy, being fired. Why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His yeah. boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, Been here before. To himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously One, out two, of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? It appears no, so. Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. Mm. I'm dreaming, he yelled. I'm dreaming. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. Mm. His co-workers weren't Must actually like gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll sure. go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Ooh. Then he imagined himself soaring through I'm space Peter on Pan. a magical star field. And it too appeared. Ooh. It was so much fun. This is so much fun. That he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? I don't know. And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why What's that is question? there a voice in my head dictating everything he's the narrator. that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me thinking about how it's describing my thoughts he thought oh and while he thought it all very odd and wondered yeah. if this voice spoke to all people in their sure dreams, the truth was that of course this was not a dream how could mm. it be was stanley simply deceiving himself yes believing that if he's asleep he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself don't stanley know is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. Getting all, dizzy. He was certain beyond a doubt that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical I just stars magically just made ago? stars How magical. Would the voice explain all that? Yeah, this explain voice that. was a part of himself too, surely. Maybe surely, it's just Stanley's he voice. Just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed mm. his eyes gently. And he invited himself to wake up. He wake felt up. the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The wake press up. of the mattress on his back. That sounds nice right now. <laughs> I'm so tired. World outside this one. Wake up. Let me wake, wake up. up, he thought to wake himself. Up. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please. It's all I want. I want my apartment. And my wife, and my You don't job. have a wife, it's a mannequin. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. Were you happy? I am normal. But were you Everything happy? Everything will be fine. I am okay. Okay, well that's, you know, one step. To happy, oh, well, mm, well, we're here. 
Now that Stanley is a bomber. Screaming. Please, someone oh. wake me up. Oh, My name is I'm real. I'm boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just please, please, tell me please, I'm real. please, I please, real. please. I please. Oh. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. <laughs> oh. Golly. Now this do what do now? Of a woman named Mariella. What? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. What? Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real, and what isn't. Look at his shoes. They it look was dumb. Comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. That's actually got fucked up. very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this. So it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. And now I'm a lady? All of his co-workers were gone. Oh, what could it mean? I'm not a lady. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What? Golly Moses, this is just a deja vu simulator. Simulator, I hardly know her. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. It's gonna be the same if I don't go downstairs, like if I go upstairs? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Like if I go downstairs, it's gonna be different? Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I want to see if it's different if I go down again. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Oh, admitting golly. he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. It's going to be the same thing. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. Oh, jeez. His geez. boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Same Stanley. thing. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? Oh, I can? Yeah, okay, let's do that. Because if it's the same fucking thing over and over... Oh! Appears they left in a hurry. Paper everywhere. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it it's mean? a mess! Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. It's a mess in here. When Stanley came to a set of two I'm going on the this right. was not the correct way to the meeting room. Too and fucking Stanley bad. knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Love it. The lounge was sublime. A work of art. What? But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. I'm going to go straight again. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Oh! But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control Splat. of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. I really just walked Good right job, off. Stanley. Thank Everyone you. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Thank you. I'm very powerful and also strong and also wake up and also same thing. What time is it when this happens? 
Is it early in the morning? Well, not early. It's Someone like almost noon. following now. Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. I'm scared. I'm afraid. Mm. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Ah. The people? Somebody following me? Hmm? Yet there was not a single person here either. What the hell? a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Yeah, yeah, sure. Bathroom! Was it, what were all those doors? <gasps> it's unlocked. That's scary. Let's go uppies. New place. Right. What? Well, let's go down. Hey. Hey. Damn. Get it. Hey. In the same place. Well, well, I don't know what to do. That is this just gonna be different? What is it, what's on those desk? Yeah, great, great. Here's the door. <sighs> just go. Well, I'm confused. Eh. Didn't do anything. What was the point? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. This again, man. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Television! Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Inconclusive. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true yeah. nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee Four. in the building. Four the Stanley's number. his co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This is not America. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions I love had been that manipulated song. to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! 
It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent I'm confused what I did with the oops. What I did with the oops. Hello? Life what I did with the, sorry. the What world? I did with the elevator. Did not but appear to do anything. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very there. place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and uh, I'm gonna turn it on because when I dismantle the controls, it just does the same fucking thing. I'm gonna turn it on and see what happens. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just act. I did. I did it already. I did After it they once. Kept you before. All these years, you yeah. go and you try to take control of the machine. Yeah. Oh, my fault. I keep clicking a button. For yourself, and it takes me out of the game. Sorry. Stop me out. I like control. Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort. I Thank really you. do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If yeah. you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly oh, the brother. power you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated is without the same proper thing? DNA do I need to restart again? Drive me nuts! I I don't get it. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stan already went boom. To, go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I need to try those elevators again. They didn't do anything. I'm confused by them. Why was I even able to go into them? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, Are this you sure? was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. This fucking employee lounge. Standing now Ugly. in this incredible room, Stanley for the first time eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. I swear I've done this before. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight oh, I took to that. the opposite door, right. and got back on track. But then I'm just back on track. Yet there was not a single person here either. What? Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find enough coming to a staircase. Stanley oh, I'm to trapped. His office. Tell me I can open this. They're gonna actually let me go somewhere this time. Okay. What? talking about I don't understand this game what's this oh now I can go in here because the boss knows that what the boss says goes if the boss has suffered losses then that's what the boss chose excuse me because the boss knows that what the boss says goes if the boss has suffered losses then the butts what the boss says goes that's where i would that's where the ending is mirror doesn't work can't even look at myself right now Indoors monthly. That's funny. Now maybe we go down.
Down, please. Let me out. Now let's see if it's any different. No, this is the same. Ah! Why do you guys like this game? This isn't fun. This is just the same thing over and over and over. Click the zero. Then the one! I wanted to click the one! Not the two! Why does it do that? Why does it do that? It's gonna piss me off. Like, I'm not even... I'm not even looking at the two, man! So, like... I don't know. TOS, I guess. Can't say what I want to say. So I'm just gonna get... I'm just... I'm gonna leave. I'm going to be like Stanley and leave. It's done.